Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to install Content Lock Pro version 2 onto your server. When you first purchase CLP2, you're asked to provide a domain name and subdirectory where you want to install it. Your installation is locked to this domain name and subdirectory, so make sure you choose wisely. You'll need to make sure that your server supports PHP version 5.3, otherwise CLP won't work. If you've already purchased CLP2, then chances are you've got a domain name and web server. So I'll show you how to check out what version of PHP you're running in just a moment. If you haven't purchased CLP2 and you don't already have hosting, then there's many people out there who recommend HostGator. It's cheap, it's fast and it's popular, and it can be set up to use PHP version 5.3. So I'm just going to minimize this window and go into Notepad++, where I'll show you how to create a quick PHP script to check what version of PHP you're running on your server. So let's start by entering the PHP opening tags, then we'll call a function called PHP info and then we'll close the PHP tags. Save that to the desktop. I'm going to call it info.php. Now we want to upload this file to our web server. So I'm going to use FileZilla, which is an FTP client, to FTP onto my server and then upload the info.php. So I've got my details already entered in here. I'm just going to click on Quick Connect. and now I'm connected to my server. I'm going to select the public HTML folder and I'm going to go back to the desktop and drag info.php into the service folder. So that's finished uploading. We can now check the file on my server. So I'll just type in the URL we just entered, slash info.php. And we'll just wait for that to load. And here you can see the server's running PHP version 5.3.8. And you need to be running a minimum of 5.3, so this will be absolutely fine, and Content Log Pro 2 should have no problem working on my server. So I'm going to close that now. And let's just go back to the public HTML folder. Now when I downloaded and first purchased Content Lock Pro 2, I specified the installation directory as CLP. So I'm going to create a new directory on my server and I'm going to call it CLP. And into that CLP directory I'm going to copy the clpv2.zip file which contains the installation files for Content Lock Pro. So here you can see on my desktop it's going to drag it over and onto my server. Now the upload shouldn't take too long. So while the upload finishes, let's just switch back to Chrome and I'll go to my cPanel, which is the administrative page for my server. And you can see here, if I'll scroll down a little bit, I can go to the File Manager tab and we want to open that in Web Root. Click on OK. And here you can see all the files stored on your server. I'm going to select the CLP directory, double click on that. I'll just check that that file is finished uploading. Okay, so clpv2.zip has finished uploading. These are the installation files for Content Lock Pro. I'm going to click on that zip file. I might just reload this so you can see the correct size there, 4.19 megabytes. And I'm going to click on Extract. Just keep the default directory, that's fine. And that extracted quite quickly. And if I refresh that again, you can see all the files have now been extracted from the zip file. So I'm just going to select that zip and delete it from my server. Now what we have to do is create a couple of databases for Content Log Pro to use. So I'm going to go back to my cPanel, scroll down a bit, until you see the databases tab and I'm going to click on MySQL databases. Now on this page you can create a new database for Content Lock Pro. I'm going to call my database CLP. So just enter that name there and click on create database and in a separate file you might want to keep note of the names of things that you create so let's call this database name Let's copy that there. Now 
Now I'll go back. Now we have to create a user to add to that database. So that user I'm going to call CLP user. You can see this is in the MySQL users add new user section. I'm going to give them a password. Type the same password again. And click on create user. So that user is being created. I'll just enter that into our file here. And database password. And finally, you also need to know the location of the database or the, the address of the database, and this is usually just called localhost. So call it localhost. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is add that user we just created to the database. So I'm going to select that user from the list. I'm going to select the database from the list and just click on add. Now you want to select all privileges here to give that user all read write access privileges for that database. Then select make changes and pretty soon it should be done. Alright, so the database is all set up. Now we can run our installation script. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is run the Content Lock Pro installation script. And to do that, I'm just going to go to the address that I installed Content Lock Pro to. So remember it was in the CLP directory. I'll just bring that up. And you can see that it brings up the Content Lock Pro installation page. Now you've got a couple of different options here. The first one is the postback script name. I'm just going to leave it as PB, but you can choose whatever you want, although I recommend something simple like PB or Postback. Note that you don't need to enter the file extension, so don't put in PB.PHP, just leave it as PB. Uh, the next part's the database configuration, and this is where you're going to enter those settings that we saved into this file before. So, I'm just going to copy that username and paste it into the database name. Copy the user paste it into the user and copy the password and paste it into the password. Now you notice that the database hostname field was already filled in for you as localhost and that's because that's generally what it will be so we don't need to worry about changing that. Now the last thing we need to do is enter the admin settings so I'm just going to enter an admin email and an admin password and if I click on install it should all be done for us. And you can see that the application has been installed. Remove the slash install directory before any use of the application. So now what we're going to need to do is remove that installation directory. It's fairly simple to remove the installation directory. We just need to go back to our cPanel file manager, select the install directory, then click on delete. And you'll notice that it's disappeared. So now we can go back here and we'll refresh the page and we should be able to log in. Let's just test that out with the email and password that I entered earlier. And we've logged in successfully and we can now create new content lockers and add new offers. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful and you can check my channel for other videos on how to use Content Lock Pro.